Hi everyone, this is Smriti. Welcome to Q Automation Classes. And today we are going to look into the parallel execution. Okay. So last session was all about the cucumber report reporting and uh, uh, like more about the third party uh, tool like the HTN report integration. And today we are going to learn about the parallel execution. Right. So in uh, cucumber, how exactly you can run your uh, scenarios in parallel right? or your features in parallel? What is the myth about that? Right? What is the concept? So in Cucumber, we can only run your features in the parallel. You cannot run the scenarios inside the feature in parallel, right? So, so the parallel execution is done at the feature level in Cucumber table. Right? Okay. So let's go to our IntelliJ and see uh, if those plugins are there or not. Okay. So let's go to pom.xml and inside the pom.xml, if you see, we need some plugins. Okay. So Maven compiler plugin we need to have. What is the plugin? These are all dependencies. Okay. Still dependencies. Okay. Dependency, okay. Dependency will have to plug this, okay. So, now uh, plugins, okay. So, if you see Maven compiler plugin is there and Maven file set plugin is there, and here we have given all those uh configuration build test up, right? Parallel equation method, thread count equals to three, power code thread count equals to two, okay. So, now what will happen? <coughs> so, we have given all these three things. So, we have already uh, known what is the Maven compiler plugin does and what is the Maven file set plugin, right? I'm not going to explain it one more time, and uh, then so uh, let's do one thing, okay. So our uh, Cucumber runner test we have it. So by default it is uh, picking up the Cucumber runner test. If you go to uh, one of my earlier recordings, okay. So you can see whenever we are running from the Maven or we are running our uh, Cucumber runner test. So what is happening? So it is uh, by default using auto detected provider or dot Apache, right? So what it is saying? Using auto detected provider or Apache Maven Surefire GUnit for GUnit for provider. So this is the default runner that is running, that is getting used to run your uh, runner class. Okay. <coughs> so this is JUnit Core provider, right? So Surefire JUnit Core still, though we don't have it in our uh, plugin section Surefire, uh, but it is still getting used by default. Okay. And because of this, there is a sequential execution is happening. So we need to get rid of this one. Okay. So if we get rid of this one, we can. Uh, what to do to get rid of this one? Okay. So let's go to our framework. Okay. So we are seeing here this is slash slash cucumber runner dot java right so since i'm saying okay cucumber runner dot java so we can rename the cucumber uh, runner test to cucumber runner okay so let's rename this one uh, refactor so rename what about ah cucumber runner refactor go inside Cucumber runner, okay. <laughs> this is fine, and that <coughs> exactly we are passing uh, in our uh, plugin, right? So cucumber runner dot Java, okay. So now it is uh, fine. So we have the three count three, but how many features we have? I think we have two features, okay. So what is the feature files? So open login page feature, okay. So let's put it one more time. Paste. So. I'm sorry, <coughs> open login page two dot feature. Okay, and here let's say user login. Let's have only one. Okay, so so we have uh, three related. Okay, so <coughs> there are the three features. So all three features should can get executed in parallel now, right? So how to run it? Okay, so <coughs> if we run it, uh, let's run it from the command line and see how exactly it is running. Cucumber runner, right? So let's see what is the cucumber runner is configured with. So we don't want to go with cucumber runner, let's go with uh, Maven runner, right? So where is the Maven run? Maven run, okay. So let's go with the Maven run and run and see what happens here. So it's there, <coughs> what did it say? Say like uh, some problems encountered, these are the all warning, okay, that is fine. So building form.xml, okay. So what is the run configuration over here in the Maven run? Let's see. Clean test, okay. 
So the clean test is now able to uh, do one thing. Okay. So let's do one thing. <coughs> so cancel. What is the problem? So okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is MBN clean. So verify. The six. Splinter didn't work. Okay. See now you can see J unit J unit code provider. Can you see guys? Using auto detected provider. Now you can see three browser instances are coming parallelly, right? And three browser instances are getting involved and they are getting executed. Okay. So you can see the execution, but main intention here was to show you this one, right? The surefire plugin. So Marvin dot surefire. Where does it go? Let me go to the United States. So if you see Maven dot short file that J unit code that J unit code provider. Okay. So this J unit code provider is the one, right? So that is going to run your test cases in Padlet. It's not J unit code provider. If it is J unit code provider, then you will see it was running in the sequential. So now it is running in the parallel, right? So now and that's how you will achieve the parallel execution. Okay. So so that's all, guys. Uh, and uh, if you want to see the report you can go to the report section and you can see the report also okay so features report pdf report same right so click on the report to five twenty seven okay so three scenarios okay and uh sorry uh four scenarios first one fail and uh, two feature front graph so this is basically the same report what you have seen last time okay so you will get this report again spark report.html you can open it with the browser and see okay so you get the details over here okay so that's what like uh, this is how you mm, use the uh, parallel execution in the real time with respect to your particular framework okay so we can parameterize the browser information there is one more thing is left and then we will push the uh, Go to the git repository. So before that, I'll let me comment. Okay, okay. So many classes were not commenting. Okay. So on stage, so the stage all of them. So <coughs> implemented, implement, uh, reporting, reporting, uh, extend reports. Okay, implement extend report, extend report. Extend report and parallel execution and and framework enhancements. Okay, and framework enhancements. So commit. So committed. Nothing working to be So go to git and you can see the commit over here. If you want to extend report parallelization and framework analysis. Okay. So yeah, that's all to this classes. If you guys are really enjoying the session, I'll request you to uh, subscribe to my channel and at least stay tuned to key or open classes for the more exciting cool stuff that has been planned. And please do subscribe and if you like the content, please click on the like button and uh, do share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.